What's up guys, in this video I'll be showing you as how to install Android L on your Samsung Galaxy S3. As you can see I'm having a Samsung Galaxy S3 along with me and I'll be also showing you the build version that I'm currently running on my S3 is uh, uh, you can see I'll be just zooming it a little bit more and uh, you can see the build number, the kernel and, uh, and the Android version as you can see I'm having GTI uh, 9300. So this ROM works perfectly, each and everything works flawlessly uh, and uh, I'll be also telling us how to install it. I'll be leaving the files in the description for the for the download. You, you, you just check out the description and download the ROM from there itself. Now your device should be rooted and you should have the latest TWRP or CWM recovery installed onto your device. So I'll be just showing you guys. Just shutting off the device. Now, uh, if you are having a custom recovery like the TWRP, uh, if you want to go into the recovery mode, you have to press the volume up, the power button, and the hope button simultaneously at the same time. So just uh, press it. And you'll be taking into the recovery mode here. As you can see TWRP, I am having TWRP installed and uh, you can see I am having the latest version on the Samsung Galaxy S3 as 2.7.1. This is the latest version and uh, now what you need to do is you have to back up your device so that if anything goes wrong then you can restore your device back to normal. So this is mandatory backing up your device. Then go into your wipe option and this is swipe to factory reset as you can see. So after doing a factory wipe you just select the option as install and go to the ROM that you have placed onto your uh, internal and all external memory. So I have placed the ROM on my SD card as you can see the lollipop logo here uh, folder and you can see the ROM name is uh, called as as I'll be zooming it a little bit more is called as a nameless as you can see just select it and swipe to confirm flash and your ROM will be done wait for the ROM uh, to get installed onto your device And uh, as you can see, it's telling us insertion is successful. Now again, go back and install the caps that I'll be providing in the description. Just download those. You can see everything is done now. Now what you need to do is you have to select reboot as reboot into system and uh, super, super SU is not installed as you have to root the device again just uh, swipe to install super SU and you will be good to go so you can see S3 and for the boot animation it might take like 4 to 5 minutes of time so just give it uh, just be patient patience and as you can see the boot animation is totally different when uh, compared to the Android L animation. So as you can see you are in your system now and just select the option. Now do remember the keyboard I think won't work here. So uh, let's see like the Wi-Fi as I'll be just selecting the Wi-Fi here and let's see if the Wi-Fi works or not yep the keyboard is, no, is not working and I'll be also showing you as how to make your keyboard work just skip it skip next next More next
so as you can see now your system is working now what you need to do is for the keyboard to work you just have to go into your language and input and uh, go into your current keyboard and remember to switch on this toggle as hardware just switch on the toggle here you can see now the toggle is switched on and uh, you'll be good to go as uh, I'll be just again going the Wi-Fi as you can see now the keyboard works here I'll be connecting the Wi-Fi here and uh, letting you know uh, if it's working or not the Wi-Fi is connected let's go to website So as you can see the Wi-Fi is also working now and I'll be showing you the version again as you can see here it's the version as I have showed you before installing this ROM so as per my view and opinion this ROM doesn't have any bugs or so as a, it, you can use this as, a, as your daily drive and also uh, install uh, a Google camera as this camera application this camera won't work as you can see if you just go into the camera the camera won't work as uh, the application will be hanged isn't working so you have to install google camera from from the play store and it will work excellently and as per as uh, the call quality is concerned each and everything works flawlessly the your data connection as you can see it works flawlessly so i'll be also listing in the description as what's working and what's not as main thing i'll be listing as what's not working so this is as the procedure as how to install android l on your Samsung Galaxy S3 and as I have said you can use it as your daily drive and it's uh, as smooth as uh, it's uh, on the older devices and uh, as you can see each and everything works in a good manner so hope you guys like the video find it helpful please do comment subscribe hit the like button and also do follow me on Facebook Twitter Instagram and Google Plus and uh, also do remember to uh, watch my other Android videos as I have posted on my YouTube channel and do subscribe Till then, I'll be seeing you in my next video.